in Ireland that are sort of smaller, niche, more specialist. So you have like London College of Contemporary Arts, London College of Contemporary Music, IBAC College in Dublin. So there's it's very different sort of institutions. So and my role is very much what it says on the tin, <laughs> which is um, which is marketing for all of those brands. And we have a team of marketing managers underneath for, to, to help with that. So um yeah so that's sort of just really quickly who i am and then just to add in The option of doing automated, of using tools for automated email automation as well. So that's very much what the role is. Um, so, is there any questions on that, or should we just jump into interviews? Oh, sorry, in, into the questions. Sure, sure. I'm really sorry. Um, I think I'm having a problem with the, the application here on my end. This is the first time that I use the Microsoft Teams for online meetings. I usually use Zoom or Google Meet, and I, I don't, I, right. I didn't have any any problem with those. Is it okay if we? if we transfer to a, a different uh, online meeting platform. I'm sorry, I'm just uh, afraid that uh, I may encounter the uh, a really bad uh, you know connection for the for the for the meeting. Yeah, no, that's understandable. Let me just give me two seconds. Let me see if I can quickly set up a Google Meet. Uh, um, and I'll just drop the link in here. I also missed a lot uh, from limited. what you said earlier. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. So. All right. So I'm just going to drop the link to it in here. Just let me know if you've got it. Okay. Did you see that message? Um, is it is it supposed to uh, come from Oliviera or from from her? Uh, no, I just messaged in the chat of this. Oh, okay. Of this. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Still opening. Okay, I got uh, the link. Okay, I... okay, cool. So if we drop off of this and jump onto that one. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Sorry about that. Thank you. That's okay.
Hello. Hi, Mark. How's Hello. it going? Yeah. That's not a good start. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. There's a bit of a murmur in the background, oh, like okay. a buzzing sound. Wait, let, let me see if I can improve it. Sure. How about that? That's better. That's okay, better. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Awesome. Okay, so the last one didn't really work, so let me start, try starting again. Um, so Oliveira did a very, very quick like one-liner introdu introduction, but um, I just wanted to sort of quickly go over who I am, and then we'll jump into questions. Um, so I'm Jack. I'm the portfolio head of marketing for Incubator Brands of Ingus. Global University Systems is a is a larger, uh, very large sort of private education group with multiple different colleges and institutions under its umbrella across the globe. And as a result of the scale of it, it sort of broke up into different segments. Um, so we're in a segment called the Incubator, um, which are smaller niche um, institutions, mostly based in the UK. Um, so we have London College of Contemporary Arts, London College of Contemporary Music, so much more niche. We have a number of different services. So where this role fits in is we have a number of different services available to us um, as a marketing team. So, so we have uh, teams that run our PPC and our paid social campaigns. We also have uh, copy teams, design teams, etc. But one area which we're sort of lacking on is email marketing. Um, so what we're really looking for with this particular role is for somebody to work with the marketing managers on all of the brands, help develop, uh, create and develop an email marketing sort of schedule and plan um, for multiple different audiences across all of the brands, and then help ensure that those are executed, analyzed, amended, etc. So that's sort of very quick brief of as to what this role is and how it fits in. So, um, yeah, is there any questions at this stage or, or are we good to jump into questions? None for now, thank you. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so very first question from my side really is just sort of if you can give me a very quick brief about, you know, yourself, your your background. I can see, you know, your most recent experience is a, is a bit of a freelancer. So you know, what that involves and what you've been doing in that particular role, that'd be good. Sure, okay. Um, so I, I've primarily started with uh, e-commerce marketing using Facebook ads and email marketing, particularly Klaviyo, MailChimp, and uh, built-in Shopify email marketing tool. Uh, I started learning those when I when I built an online store, I sold backpacks and mountaineering equipment here in the Philippines in 2017. Then a few years after that, uh, I experienced helping e-commerce stores based in mostly in Europe and the top skills that I that I practiced when I helped those those e-commerce stores were were team leading that's number one then media buying and ads optimization of course email marketing data analysis and revenue monitoring preparing weekly reports for those uh, revenue monitoring and data analysis also product listing and copywriting, the whole Shopify store setup, and editing of videos and images using usually Canva and Cap CapCut. And that's basically uh, my experience in, in e-commerce. Okay, amazing. Um, okay, so if I can just sort of nail down a bit more into the, because that was a lot, there was a lot of things that you talked about there in terms of like e-commerce, getting things set up for, for to, to drive sort of sales on e-commerce. Um, obviously the role is quite heavily on 
email marketing side. So I just wanted to drill down what you did on that specific, that sort of specific aspect. Okay. For email marketing, um, my focus was more on the automations. So those, I, uh, okay. those are the most important for, for email marketing because, um, when those are already established, I can, or we can leave them as is, and we, we, we will just need to, we will just need to, um, monitor the emails and, and add, add some tweaks as, as they go, uh, as we observe how, how they, how they inter, how the, the target audience interact with the emails that we're sending. And of course, uh, that will involve uh, segmentation of the audience and and nurturing the audience. So basically, we 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 have to lock them in a uh, an uh, a customer experience where where we will nurture them with with the relevant relevant content for for the products we're selling or the services we're selling. So my experience is about mostly. Uh, setting up the the four most important parts of the email marketing automations. So number one, uh, the the welcome email uh, welcome email sequence. Then number two, the post purchase email sequence, which is uh, basically sending sending your Sending our gratitude and congratulating the 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 people who who bought the the products or the services. So that's number two. Number three is the abandoned cart emails. So in in the ecom side of the of business, so abandoned carts uh, are sent to save those who who of course abandoned their cards, but they already show their interest. So we're we are just telling them that uh, uh, maybe they forgot the to to check out or complete their orders. Then we may offer some discount so they can to motivate them more to finish their their uh, their purchase. So I'm just seeing uh, from from that that uh, particular uh, flow of email marketing, the abandoned cards, its counterpart on on the service service side of business for example a school instead of abandoned cart emails we can we can make a follow-up sequence so it's not it's not like an abandoned cart because it will be it will be totally different so we will instead of sending abandoned cart emails we will send follow-ups to to those who already showed interest maybe offer them uh discounts or or free free uh, first week of training something like that so that's number four uh, abandoned cart email so and uh, that's number three sorry number three then the last one for the automations is the the abandoned browse uh, emails so the difference of this from the abandoned cards is uh, we, are, we are saving those who who uh, browsed something uh, a particular page on on the website then we will just tell them that uh, hey we saw you uh, checked this uh, particular product or service, uh, then we will we'll just tell them more about it and just uh, motivate them to to uh, to push forward on on uh, buying that particular product or service. And um, aside from those four, then once those four four uh, automations are established, then we can follow up on. Uh, on sending campaigns, sales campaigns like uh, you know the the Black Black Friday sales, something like that. The, the, those uh, sales campaigns for for holidays to just to just to uh, drive excitement to to the target audience and and just sending regular emails then sending regular emails of relevant relevant uh, contents to the target audience so um, i also uh, use email marketing 
uh, together with the uh, Facebook ads. So sometimes I use Facebook ads to to lead to lead the uh, the target audience to subscribe. Then once they already subscribed, then I lock them in the 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 customer customer experience within the newsletter. So yeah, that's what that's what I can think about for now. Awesome. Amazing. So then once you so you obviously mentioned the um automated that you obviously used automated um services. So what um automate what marketing automation tool did you use in the past? Um and then secondly sort of what metrics and KPIs are you are you, you yeah, sorry, are you using to measure the success of the campaign? Sure. So my experience uh, for the, the email marketing tools were with uh, MailChimp, number one, then Klaviyo. I just recently uh, used Klaviyo. Also Active Campaign. that's another tool. Then what's the other one? Of course, the Shopify. Uh, the Shopify has this built-in email marketing tool. So uh, in, in regards to the, the key metrics that, that I usually watch, so there are lots of key metrics that we should watch, but uh, I prioritize only five. So number one is the deliverability deliver rate. That's number one. Um, it, should be at, it should be at least 95% and above. So, so for the deliverability rate to be at least 95% uh, in, in, in rating, we should, we should uh, make sure that we are, of course, we are targeting the, the audience that already showed interest or those who, who uh, genuinely signed up for, for the product or the service that we're, we're selling. Uh, then the next to the deliverability rate is the open rate. So um, it's about when once we send the email, uh, are they going to open it? So they will see that they they received an email. It's not in the spam folder, you know. Uh, yeah. Then are, if they go, the question is, are they going to open it? So so to to ensure that they uh, to maximize the chances that, that they will open the, the, the email, of course. Uh, I have two rules for this. So number one, it should be that the email content should be congruent and consistent with, with, the, with the offer. Of course, uh, for example, if, if uh, I set up, uh, up uh, an email opt-in form that says uh, they will receive or uh, yes, an email opt-in form. For example, we are we are offering a lead lead magnet, which is a uh, a free two weeks uh, guitar training. For example, then once they receive the email, they see the they see the oh they, they for example they subscribed. They they put their email there. They they enter their email. Then of course they will receive the the, the email. Uh, once they see the the headline, of course, they will see. Oh, okay, I signed up for this. It says uh, free two weeks uh, guitar training, something like that. So it's uh, consistent with uh, the offer and uh, the landing, uh, the the opt-in form. Then they they will uh, open it. So most likely they will open it. Of course, they signed up for it. So in e-commerce, um, the minimum uh, indicator. Uh, of percentage is five percent uh, to be considered for for an email to be considered uh, the open rate uh, five percent uh, is it's five percent to be considered the good and uh, the number number three so one is the, the deliverability rate and number two is open rate the third is click through rate uh, it should be at least two percent uh, in the in the marketing industry. The fourth one is uh, click to open rate. It should be at least 10%. And the last one is 
the conversion rate so are if, if they're going to continue uh buying the the product or service it's it's uh two percent if it's two percent then it's uh we're doing a great job that that that's it for me awesome no that's really good um and then one of the things you mentioned in one in one of those um answers was obviously ensuring that the emails you know are not marked as spam um so what sort of measures do you put in place to help ensure that um yeah help to try and avoid this um the the steps i i make to to make sure to lower the 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 chances of the our emails going to the spam folders is uh at least once every two weeks check or monitor the the email list and remove remove those who are are not opening the 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 emails we're sending for maybe uh 30 to 60 days so we can remove them and those who are not responding for 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 60 days maybe we can remove them just uh just like weeding weeding the 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 email list so we can also make sure that we are sending the emails that we are paying for as well to people who are really interested and who are who are still engaged with the uh, with the newsletter that we're sending amazing um okay and then uh... So you might have mentioned some of this before, um, but if you were to sort of just really wrap up, what do you think are the key elements of an effective email marketing strategy? So the, okay, first thing is we should be sending the emails to people who are relevant uh, to the products yeah. or services that we're, that, that we're uh, promoting or we're selling otherwise uh, we will uh, we are just uh, throwing out money uh, for that we're paying for the for the for the email marketing app that's the first one then of course the next the next one would be the the congruency and the consistency of the of the emails we're sending so from from uh, sending an offer it should be congruent and consistent with uh, the emails we're sending and also uh, about how the how the website looks it should somehow uh, mirror the the emails that we're sending so it, the email should look like something like the the branding of the website um i also uh, to answer that question i also uh, created a, a short draft of of a uh, strategy here so is it okay if i if i read this to you I, i'm going to read it sure okay. sure sure, sure. It's, it's just short so my plan is uh, I checked the website, the websites, the five websites that uh, Viera forwarded me. So uh, I'm not sure if we are, if those websites were were launched already or or not yet. But if those are still not launched, then we can. Pre I suggest we we do a one month uh, pre-launch. Uh, marketing strategy so we can use Facebook ads and to, to promote the the websites or the products or if, if, if it's a particular course we can also prepare a one month pre-launch for those and uh, we can we can we should come up with a with a lead magnet of course uh, I'm not sure uh, what lead magnet can be can be approved by by the schools, but we can we can uh, think of think something like think of lead magnets like one to two weeks of free course, uh, free ebook, free consultation, free course relevant webinars, 
or promotions like uh, win a scholarship so they can join a contest something like that then the the five websites that i checked they uh, they don't have uh opt-in forms for subscriptions so we we will add those then after adding the the opt-in forms we will we will uh establish the the four automations that i mentioned the the welcome email the thank you email the abandoned cart emails and uh, the abandoned uh, browse emails um what else so after that uh the segmentation and nurturing of subscribers with the uh, occasional campaigns and relevant value emails will will be arranged as well then okay so once uh some someone buys the the service or a course then of course next will be an appointment and onboarding and that will be arranged uh, using the emails too and that's pretty much it that's uh, what i crafted amazing amazing that's really good um yeah i think and i think you've actually identified some areas that definitely we don't have and would need to be would need to be crafted in obviously it's a little bit difficult one of the just one note on that is one of the things you mentioned is obviously abandoned carts and things like that, which are key for e-commerce. The only problem is we don't have shops on our website. So abandoned carts is quite difficult to do. Um, but otherwise, the, the premise of it, uh, the, you know, the premise of the strategy makes sense. Um, OK, awesome. Um, look, just one final question from, from, from my side, um, which is basically, can you give me you know, an example of a of a successful sort of email campaign that you've done in the past. Um, what you did, what the results were, yeah, how you achieved it. Sure. Okay. Before I answer the question, uh, the abandoned cards, uh, of course, it will be different uh, for the schools because instead mm. of sending abandoned cards emails, we will just follow up on uh, on the on those who, for example those who availed a free consultation a free uh, one week uh, training something like that so it it, it won't be uh, anything like an abandoned card uh so regarding your 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 uh, question so my most successful i think uh email marketing campaign was when when we were collecting leads for for a paint by numbers product before we were spending almost twenty dollars per lead uh, via Facebook ads to to of course uh, get get uh, subscribers and loop them in the the newsletter. And we were using Mailchimp that time, uh, so I I uh, I arranged the the landing page for for uh, on mail, uh, using Mailchimp. And we were driving uh, leads to that to those uh, landing pages, and we were spending almost twenty dollars, so nineteen dollars point twenty one and nineteen point twenty one dollars, I think, if I can remember it right. Then we we had to stop the the campaign because it's it's very expensive. What I did was I. I I used the same the same uh, creatives the same videos the same ad copy to get leads then simply used uh, the, the 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 Facebook instant forms to get emails and with that from almost twenty dollars per lead we acquired leads and we only paid uh, one point something dollars per lead and with that we got uh more leads in in short in a shorter period of time and after that of course the the next problem is the next problem was seg uh, segmenting the 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 subscribers so that's the most successful uh 
email campaign or email marketing related uh, job that I did for for a brand. Awesome. Very good, very good. Um, so those leads that you got from Facebook forms, yes. you then put into, you then segmented them, put them into an email campaign, nurtured them to try and convert them to, to, to purchase. Yes. Yeah, amazing. Okay, fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't have any more questions. Those are all the questions from my side, but I do have a little bit of a task, um, which I will send across on an email afterwards. But it's basically um, just, I'll be providing a, um, uh, you know, an email that we have at the moment, which is just a very standard bill of content. It's not very nicely worded. It's not very nicely laid out. It's, um, it's just a dump of content. And basically what I'd just like is to take that content and turn it into something much more, uh, you know, much more ready for an email marketing campaign, essentially. Um, so feel free to change it, cut it down, make it, make it look, uh, make it look nice. Um, and then send that back to me. Um, and, um, and yeah, and also if you can send across the, the strategy that you went through with me on the call, that would be great as well um you know in a word form and 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 yeah and that'll sort of be i'll put a deadline on the email um but if we can sort of get that by the end of the week that'll be great um and that's it really at the moment is there any questions for me at all though sure I, i'm just curious um those uh those five websites that uh mm. they uh, sent me uh, do we have uh, email lists already uh, for those that we can use? Sure. So, yeah, so, ba so we get a lot of, across the five brands, we get a lot of leads to inquire on the forms. The, at the moment, the, the, those that inquire on the forms just go into the sales team. The sales team then try to convert them through their own ways of emailing and calling. And then they either disqualify the leads or they convert them. But that's it. We obviously we use a CRM called CRM Salesforce, which is obviously quite well known, um, to to capture all of those leads. And we have the ability. We also have the ability to use um, uh, a tool in Salesforce itself called Pardot, um, to which is an which is basically an email automation flow. Um, but we haven't had that set up yet. So that's essentially what we'd be looking to do with this particular position. It would be a case of creating campaigns for the brands to utilize the leads that we have in place and create a proper journey for them using email marketing. Um, but the leads are all there. Um, and obviously we have diff across different stages of the journey. Um, but also the websites that were shared are in a bit of need of updating. Um, so a few of them, a few of them are currently being designed or or developed um, to to into new into new ones as well. I see. May I also ask what platforms are you using to uh, advertise the the brands? Of course. So we currently utilize a range of sort of div different digital. Um, we use Google PPC search as well as some of the other PPC, so as well as some of the other Google products like video and display, et cetera, depending on the time of the year and if we want to do more campaigns around awareness. Um, we use paid social, so we use Facebook and Instagram ads for most of the colleges. Um, we also use, we obviously spend a lot of time on our SEO because SEO is very important, but we also, and we also use um, something called affiliates where we have partnerships with multiple different other websites um, to help generate leads from their web from from people going onto their websites, and that's a CPL model that we have with them. Um, and yeah, that's it really. We're sort of across all digital channels essentially, in some way or form. Okay, sure. Thank you. May I know also? Uh, I think this is the this would be my last question. May I know the initial sure. goal goal for for those. Uh, Sure. So, so the initial goal is, like I said, there's nothing at all in place for email marketing for any of these brands. So what I would like to see is somebody to come in 
work with the marketing managers on the brands and develop a plan and a schedule for for a you know emailing multiple different audiences so we have alumni that we have their contact details that we never email we have current students that we can email, you know we can do regular sort of what's going on in the university what's going on in the college emails to keep them engaged with us um so those are two two audiences that we've never touched but then also set up automation for the lead journeys and new you know new prospects and making sure that they sort of funnel through and ultimately convert into an application so the main goal is to start setting up those three stages of of um sort of email marketing across the five colleges and um and you'd be working with the college you'd be working with the colleges for especially for those emails for alumni and for the what's going on in the college you'd be working with the colleges to get that information which is what i'm going to send which is a bit like what i'm going to send across to you after this so you can see an example of that but the but obviously the the emails to leads where you'll be working with the marketing team and the sales team to help sort of build how that would look and how we think that would work okay, okay. does that make sense sure sure yes of course is it okay sure. instead of uh sending you the the short draft of uh strategy that that i mentioned earlier i'll send you uh a, a, a bit longer one but it's uh an executable sure. strategy you just need you just have to give me two to three days for that that's fine that's fine so if okay. by the end of the week i can get the the strategy and an, an, the email template based off of the content that that i'll send across okay. afterwards that'll be fantastic sure okay okay i'll do it brilliant that's fantastic all right um cool so we'll wait to hear back on that and then we'll then we'll talk about next steps once we once i come once you get back to me with the tasks um and if there's any questions in the meantime feel free to reach out to myself or Oliveira. um thank you so much i appreciate the time and um glad we got over the tech issues at the start and uh yeah speak soon thanks thanks jack brilliant thank I'll you mark yes i'll send it right away okay. thank you so much thank you, you cheers Bye-bye. <sighs>